Hello everybody, this is Mr. Lu. Uh, I'm in Korea right now and it's an uh, amazing, uh, amazing place. Uh, that's crowded with tourists right now. Uh, today we want to talk about today we want to talk about property price inflation in Singapore. But before we do that, I want to tell you a little bit about, about Seoul right now. I'm in Myeongdong. And you may not know this, but the influx of Chinese tourists is building up tremendously. Uh, we have not seen them. Uh, for quite some time and of course uh, this also coincided with their coming Chinese Golden Week which is their national day but more importantly the news that we heard of China economy going down the property bubble has burst and all this you know we, we, we don't need the whole of China to do well we just need the tourists okay the, the high income and the super high income to just come out and tour we just just one one to two percent of China population come out to tour and uh, land in Singapore and Korea. You will overrun the whole country, already. So um, that's good news because Singapore and Asia desperately need uh, China to China tourists to come and lift up our economy. Okay, um, so uh, maybe let, let me just uh, talk a little bit about Singapore property market. Uh, the news just came out that the resale uh, condominium prices uh, has reverse the two months of decline as a climb up by one percent right so previous month was about 0.2 percent decline and the previous previous month in june was a negative 0.1 percent so whatever has came down was wiped out in one month increase so we went down 0 point, uh, 0 point, 0 point 0.1 and it went down by 0 0.2 and shot up by one percent right so um so Basically, it means that the cooling measures have totally failed. Totally failed, right? I've, uh, I've, I think I've said this before, I'm going to say it again, okay? We, we cannot have Mickey Mouse measures of cooling measures, okay? We cannot have Mickey Mouse measures. We cannot uh, just think that, uh, you know, as long as we build supply, increase the supply, the property prices will come down, right? We, we need a combination of demand and supply policy to bring down prices and we need to bring it rapidly down because once prices go up, uh, it's very painful for the economy to, 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 to witness a fall because it has spillover effects through the entire economy. So uh, these kind of things cannot let it even go up. Once you let it go up out of control, you know, uh, that's way above GDP, you know, gone down. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a very painful uh, thing for Singaporeans because, uh, you know, property prices are going out of reach and it's very painful, right? A lot of people say, oh no, BTO prices are cheap, you know, uh, and it's very affordable. Yeah, you pay in terms of waiting time and proximity uh, away from the city, you know. So, uh, th th it's a zero-sum game, okay, it's a zero-sum game. Uh, I think we need to be mindful that Mickey Mouse measures of cooling measures doesn't work anymore. A sledgehammer approach needs to be hit and uh, to, to bring down property prices. Uh, and it needs to start with the HTB resale market. Because once you start with the HTB resale market, you will stop the upflow to the condominium market, right? The foreigners are not the one, the foreigners are not the one that cause this uh, property uh, price inflation anymore because we have got uh, policies that stop, uh, you know, increase ABSD and all this, that stop them from coming uh, to buy and lift up the market. They're all caused by Singaporeans, right? So, um, so I, I think we need a sledgehammer approach and uh, the, the faster the government realise this, the more the economy can be saved. You know, we, 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 we have got inflation problem coming out everywhere. Some of them are imported, some of them are, are domestic uh, and, and those that are imported, you know, we have got measures to cope with it. Uh, uh, DPM Lawrence Wong came out with a huge $1.1 billion package to help Singaporean offset the cost of living that's good but it's not enough right we need to hit at the big pain points right property is number one on the list right we need to bring down property prices and bring down bring it down rapidly some of you are going to say again oh mr lu you know um, you have missed out on the singapore property price inflation and, and uh, you know you lost money and things like that and, you know not lost money but at least missed out opportunity well, that's true, um, you know, but I still got an HDB that's a million dollars round, which I don't, I'm not happy at all about it. Um, um, and, uh, and by the way, the property price inflation hit Malaysia as well. You know? I was told that uh, by my agent that, that uh, people are now selling uh, Austin Heights uh, semi-Ds at uh, $2.6 million. 
uh, and I bought it at 1.95 you know so that's only a, that's only a price uh, that's a price difference of I don't know 20 25 percent in six months so um, so you know so so that that part you know, you know but again right you know if I'm not going to sell it then it doesn't make a difference right so uh, I, I just want to be mindful that our next generation will not be able to afford houses easily okay will not be able to afford houses easily or they pay a heavy price in other other ways for property so we need a sledgehammer approach and stop using Mickey Mouse approach uh, we need heavy demand side uh, policies and not just uh, a weight supply side uh, effects to take place right that's my uh, my take you know uh, you may agree or disagree you know I uh, welcome you to state it in the comments and uh, and uh, and uh, uh, and and give a like or dislike you know whatever right so, so at least I know your reaction okay uh, thank you and I'll see you tomorrow